Hi, welcome to Training Minutes. What we're going to cover in this video is the Metro slash Cleveland load for the new high-rise configuration. Even though it's labeled high-rise configuration, it has many other purposes. It's going to come down to training to figure out how it works well for you in your response area. What we're going to do is we're going to start with the nozzle and about two foot section of hose and then we're just going to start rolling the hose around the nozzle. You only want to make this loop as big as your, a little bit bigger than your SCBA cylinder. This will allow you to carry it over your shoulder or over your SCBA cylinder. Just keep wrapping the hose around until you run out of your 50 foot key is try to make this tight. Once you finish with your first 50 foot, attach your second 50 foot section. and then continue. Once you're done, separate the center, grab your blue straps. With your straps, you can either go on the outside or the inside. Slide your straps under. If your coupling was in an awkward place, all you have to simply do is reposition it so you get it wrapped. To deploy this, simply undo your straps. This gets hooked up to your water source, whether it's your gate at Y or another section of engine three quarter hose. And then pull the nozzle out of the center. Pulling the nozzle out of the center is the only thing you really have to do. Now if you make this a nice pretty circle, it deploys easier. This demonstration, we're going to show you how to carry the Cleveland load. One person firefighter carry over the shoulder. Firefighter is going to pick, separate, pick up the middle, place it on their shoulder, and go up the stairs. This demonstration is going to show the two person firefighter carry over the cylinder. One firefighter is going to pick up the hose line, place it over the other firefighter cylinder. Now he's ready to go up the stairs. So hooking up to the standpipe riser, what we need to do is disconnect, unconnect the cap. Since this riser is pointing straight down, we're going to take the 45 elbow in there in our officer bag and hook it into the riser. And then hook our gauge and our Y into that elbow. Hook our gauge in line with our Y. Now we're going to be ready to hook the hose into our Y and then turn and get water. While the other firefighter was hooking up to the riser, the other firefighter up top is now going to drop the section of hose that they've carried up, lay it out in a nice circle, disconnect the straps.
Move the straps off to the side. Take the female in. Give it to your partner down at the stairwell. Riser. And have them hook into the riser. While he's hooking into the riser, you can take about five feet of hose and separate it from the pack and put it off to the side. Off to the side more. There you go. First, what you're going to do is open the high rise riser. Open it all the way. This is why it's important to keep both handles on the Y, because at this point, he's going to use the side that's not connected to bleed the riser. Once you bleed it of air, then we're ready to charge. At this point, you can check your pressure gauge to make sure you have proper pressure. Now we're ready to charge the hose. Firefighter's going to open up the handle. Water's going to charge. Kinks kicks the hose out, free of kinks. Now we're ready to advance the hose down the hallway. You can, at this point, you can bleed the line. Now we're ready to advance down the hallway and fight some fire.